welcome along to everyone who's uh, joining us for our live broadcast today. We are full steam ahead for this from the gantry, but we have to report to you first up that the match itself, whilst not jeopardised by the weather, certainly may have its dynamic affected by this torrential steroid raid which is uh, upon us and which has appeared almost from nowhere in the uh, hour or so up to kickoff. It could prove a considerable test for the officials and certainly for the players. We do have our fingers crossed that it won't affect the uh, game itself. But I tell you what, this could be a bit different. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter-attacks. If you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot, it can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. the way across the field it goes the cross aim blow and direct will keep his ball Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Really good feet. Nice one, too. Going through. Played into the middle. Oh, smart save. And he just whacks it away. And he's going long. Oh, looking at that, the defence was beaten. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, that's where he wants it.
being played forward knocks it away it can only get better this we haven't seen a shot yet and I'm hoping that when we do it'll spark a whole series of them because it needs livening up tries to get it forward quickly Got it back as soon as they gave it away. Plays it out to the flank. Long ball, but not especially accurate. Forward it goes. Aimed long and direct. Good defending there. They've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Could move up a gear here. Great run on the overlap here. Drill. He's had a goal. Pushes it out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. It's a. Is it in? Gone a long way up and away. It's a promising ball. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. quickly oh that is lovely footwork questions were asked and he's given the answers if anyone is going to break the deadlock now would be a good time this is quite a run and he's not done yet tries to pick out a teammate oh, stitch defending but that'll do back into the middle just whacks it away. Out for a throw. He's got options out wide. And it's hoisted clear. Forward it goes. And here's the chance to counter. Aimed long and direct. And out to safety. Chance! Goes for goal! Good effort. And it is right on half-time. So another team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. See your views on the first half. Saudi Arabia have played reasonably well, but perhaps they're overdoing things down the left flank. They've concentrated an awful lot in that area. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Again then, nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on towards the flank chance to shoot oh 
breaks on here. Played out to the right. Yeah, that does look a foul. If he's given a free kick. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to read it. And the header! He was well picked out, just needed a better finish. In this game, you're always striving to, to gain an advantage or produce a, a surprise element to things. And the quicker the delivery, I think, the more chance you have. And they should have done better there. Aimed long and direct. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. it out and if you did take an extended half-time break you'll be relieved to hear that you have missed nothing and he's made sure that that won't get through <laughs> this is promising Played back in. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. Can he score? Oh, taken win style. There is the breakthrough. Oh, that always looked the likely outcome. You know, looking back on that, I honestly think that the keeper could have helped that situation. You can see the whole picture in front of him and let that defence know. But it seems the message didn't come across very well and I think they were duly punished. Saudi Arabia break the deadlock look experienced voices need to be heard now along with good purpose and urgency and they can get right back into this well it's good stuff this is better well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now Jim is it they just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break it just has to be done it's on a plate shoots Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. Looking for space out wide. He's got away. Take by the keeper, he's read that well. He's left his man. And a shot. Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. touch looks to drop one in knocks it away and that's been one straight back forward it goes keep calm and carry on that's the job in a nutshell now
Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Goes long. Nice little flick. Battles to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Chance to break. And he's on his way. He's through and all alone. Saudi Arabia are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Very well to intervene. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. It's good distance on it. It's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Now a chance to break. Almost there and the players can feel it. And it's got through. That'll be a throw in. So the manager making the last of his changes. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Aimed low and direct. Going for goal! It's a goal! They have stolen level at the last! So all square with almost no time remaining. And the referee brings it to a close. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way, but chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining draw. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Saudi Arabia certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both, good afternoon.